The most promising energy solution today is to harness the kinetic power of the ocean waves and the flowing currents of sea or river. Many projects are underway and they claim to generate enough electrical energy for millions of homes without burning fossil fuels. These forces of nature are free, steady and predictable. This video presents a new invention on various revolutionary fluid currents energy converter device by combining double-acting fluid pumping apparatuses and moving pontoon and racks to convert ocean waves or flowing currents into electricity. The two fundamental mechanical devices are the movable device and the fixed device. Double-acting piston pump. A piston is arranged to reciprocate as its piston rod is actuated by a float. When the float moves up as a rising wave passes, it pushes the piston upward and resulting dynamic flow of the fluid closes the left inlet by the ball and fluid pumped out through the center top outlet. At the same time, it causes fluid to flow through the right hand inlet into the chamber. When the float moves down, it pulls the piston downward and partial vacuum generated at the left hand inlet causes the top left ball to open and allow the fluid to flow in. At the same time, Fluid pressure on the lower side of the piston becomes higher and it causes fluid to flow through the bottom channel into the right hand chamber and pump out through the center top outlet. Based on the fundamental piston reciprocates working principle, many designs of energy converter can be configured. In this example, a submerged pump is operated to pump water to an elevated storage tank. Water from the storage tank is channeled to rotate a fluid motor or a turbine which in turn rotates a generator to produce electricity. An air piston pump is disposed above the water level. The accumulator and flow control valve help to maintain a more constant airflow to drive a turbine and a generator. This design is integrated to operable both air and water piston pump. A T-shaped actuator bar is pivoted to the body of the pump such that when the float is pushed up and down by wave forces, the actuator bar oscillates about a pivot and, in turn, reciprocates the pistons. This actuator bar pump system uses the above single piston pump and a float pivoted to rise and fall with wave forces. Each pump body is configured to include two actuator T-bar piston pumps being arranged end-to-end -end with a sealed turbine disposed in between. The piston of two pumps is interconnected and is linked to a floating pontoon. Now a paddle is pivoted on the pontoon such that when the ocean undercurrents oscillate the paddle, it reciprocates two pistons to pump air and water in a double acting manner. This design oscillates the actuator T bar. On the top side of the rotary wheel, there is a crank pin or shaft that is located at a radius from the center of the rotary wheel. This piston rods of pumps are separatedly connected to the crankshaft through two link bars. The vertical rotary wheel has a plurality of peripheral aerofoil veins and is partially submerged in a body of running water to catch the running currents and rotate. This design deploy in seabed. When water currents flow through the face of the pendulum member, a lifting force is generated and the pendulum member swings oscillate. This rotary wheel and piston pumps assembly is suspended from a boom on a mobile trailer. A plurality of one or more of the above piston pump configurations can be connected in a network. An ocean farm system comprises a number of network combinations of the above devices, be they the same, mixed or different configurations being linked mechanically or electrically. This concept design is simple and unsophisticated, thus allowing us to harness huge unlimited renewable energy from our surrounding. If you can solve the power, you can 